Hi, uh, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this video, um, I'm going to teach you the remainder of My Immortal by Evanescence. Um, so I'm trying out a slightly new um, camera setup today. Um, let me know what you think of this new setup. It does give me a lot more freedom because I don't have a tripod right in the middle of me. <laughs> so in today's video, we're going to be looking at the bridge section the chorus and the middle eight section. So in part one, which I've linked in the description and at the top, is how to play this part. So we're just gonna be looking at the remainder of the song today. Um, the remainder of the song isn't as simple as that. So we're just gonna be looking at the accompaniment, not the melody line. Um, and I believe this is very true to what is in the track, so not the band version. So before we dive into the video, if you're brand new here, welcome, my name is Francesca and I'm the teacher here at Bite Size Piano. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and turn on the notifications bell every time um, I upload a new video and there's something new for you to learn. And if you'd like to request a tutorial, please watch to the end of the video where there are specific instructions on how you can do that. Give the video a like if you enjoy it and that it's been useful. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon and other avenues, you know who you are. If you are interested in supporting the channel in that way and you find value in my videos, you can see in the description where you can contribute. So this one's in the key of A major. So on the screen now are all the notes of a scale of A major. So we have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So the chords and the melody are mostly formed using those notes. So we're going to go straight into the pre-chorus. We're going to have a look at the right hand first. So this comes in just after you've um, played the last. And then the right hand is going to play A, C sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E. C sharp, F sharp, G sharp. So I'll do that again. So I'm going to do it bar by bar. So the left hand is going to play F sharp. Here is the middle C, by the way, for reference. So it's going F sharp, C sharp, F sharp and then C sharp, G sharp, G sharp, C sharp. So I'm going to put that bar together slowly. And then carry on in the right hand. We're going to play C sharp and A, A and F sharp, and then G sharp and E. And then at the end it will go E, F sharp, G sharp. I'll do that again. And the left hand, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and then C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, C sharp, G sharp. So I'm going to put that bit together now. I'm just going to connect the two bits that we've done so far and that's how Woolworks would do a little bit, connect it on with the rest of it and do a little bit more. So from the beginning of the pre-chorus hand we're going to play C sharp and A and then A, B, 
E and C sharp. Then we have C sharp and G sharp. And then a very quick E, F sharp, B and G sharp. So it's like. Do that again. And you're going to come and play A, B, E. And then A and E. And then G sharp. And it'll be into the chorus. So the left hand to that part is going to play F sharp, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E, E, E. So I'm going to fit that together now. the whole pre-chorus. So now we're going to have a look at the chorus. So we're going to do the right hand chords first. The right hand is mainly playing chords. The first one is an F sharp minor. So we have A, C sharp and F sharp. It's going one and two. And then we have an E major. So that's B, E and G sharp. And then a single A. And then we're going to come up to an E major, which is E, G sharp and B. Back to the E major chord. And then we have these single notes of E, G sharp, C sharp, E. So I'll just do what we've done so far. One and two. And three and four and one and two. hand is going to go F, C sharp, F sharp, D, A, D, E, B, E, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp. So I'll just fit that first bit together. So this is the first two bars. carrying on so we've got that F sharp minor chord again to the E and then A the E major chord again and then this time and then a C sharp minor inversion which is G sharp C sharp and E and then back to E major so it's very similar to the first bit so I'm just going to connect what we've done so far in the chorus is going to come up and play F sharp minor which is F sharp A and C sharp E major and then A major which is C sharp E and A back to E major back to that C sharp minor and then we have just octaves of D if you can stretch it and then last little bit, F sharp minor, E major, A major, E major. And you're going to play a single B, E. You're going to come down and play A, G, 
G-sharp, E, B. So the left hand to that part, again, isn't really doing anything different. So it's still going F, D, E, C-sharp, F-sharp, D. And then it goes E, and then low E octaves. I know the lowest D is out of shot. So I'm gonna put the that section hands together for you now, and then I'll play it all the whole chorus all the way through. And then I'm gonna play it from the very beginning all the way through to the end of the second chorus, which will take us into the bridge, the middle eight section. And that'll be the only section left to learn. And then you can see how the sections connect together as well. chorus now. from the very, very beginning and I'm going to have to turn a page halfway through as well.
now I'm gonna have a look at the middle eight section. So where's she singing? Um, I've tried so hard to tell myself, etc. So in the right hand, you're gonna play, so playing fairly low down past middle C. So we've got D and A, so we're going one, two, going to come and play F sharp minor, which chord we've already done, and then F sharp minor again, but in a different inversion this time, and then F sharp minor again, but you're going to add a, in a different inversion again, <laughs> but you're going to add a B in there as well. So I'll just do what I've done so far. play C sharp minor uh, 7 and then like an E major inversion chord then C sharp minor and then a D inversion which is A, D and F sharp so I'll just join all of that together in the right hand so far To that you're going to play a low D and A. So you're going to go one and two and three and four. And then you're going to come up and play a single F sharp. One and two and three and four and. And then to C sharp. One and two and three and four and. And then to D. One and two and three and four and. So I'm going to join that together now. And then carrying on, the right hand's going to come and play F sharp, A and E with D in the bass. And then bring that finger in to D, and then a quick D C sharp. And then I'm going to play F sharp, A, C sharp, and D, and then down to D major, and then add the C sharp in there to D major 7, and we have an E major just the E and the G sharp and then you're going to play E and A a quick B C sharp so I'll just join what we've done so far to that part, you're just going to be playing a D and a low B, which is slightly out of sharp, and then C sharp, so I'm just going to join from the beginning of the, pre, um, of the bridge what we've done so far. I'm going to do this next bit hands together because the left hand isn't really doing much. 
So we've got D in the left hand, and then E and G sharp in the right hand. And then you can play D again in the left hand, and then F sharp and A in the right hand. And then change up to F sharp and B. And then you're going to play G sharp and C sharp, and E in the left hand. Then octave higher, E in the left hand. And the right hand you're going to play A, B, E. I'll just do that bit again. And then it's into the... So let's have a look at that bit now. So the right hand is going to go F sharp. Again, this is middle C for reference. So F sharp, G sharp, A, B. So quick. And then we have C sharp and A. Then A and F sharp twice. And then again. And then a quick A. So I'll do that again. And then the left hand to that bit is going to come up and play A, B, C sharp, D, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, D, A, D. Do that again. So I'll fit that bit together. And then carrying on in the right hand, the next bar, you're going to play B and G sharp. And then G sharp and E twice. And you're going to come up, we've got another quick run, so we've got C sharp, B, A, G sharp. Do that bit again. And the left hand to that bit is going to go E, B, E, C sharp, C sharp. And then it's going to come up and play E, D, C sharp, B. So I'm going to put that bar together now, and then I'm going to join it from this bit. So now I'm going to join it in. again and then the right, the left hand is going to go E and B E and C sharp that single D E and C sharp again and then D and B C sharp and A so And then the left hand is going to go E, B, E, C sharp, and then a low C sharp that time. So I put that bar together. And then we've been to the chorus again. So now I'm going to join the entire middle eight section now.
chorus. So I'll continue playing. So just quickly there was a little slight difference in that bit um, so I'll just go over that now she goes as normal I speed up a bit okay this bar here and she plays the E again a D and then back into that bit it's a very, very slight change. It's very subtle on the track as well. So those are all the sections you need and I hope it's been useful seeing it at a, a different angle. Again, let me know what you think. Um, if you'd like to access the sheet music that I have used, um, that's available via my Patreon and hopefully you'll get a grasp of how all the sections flow in from one another. So that concludes the tutorial. I hope that you have enjoyed it and that it's been useful. In order to request a piano tutorial, you do need to be subscribed and you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. All requests are noted and considered. Make sure to hit the notifications bell because your requests could be coming up soon. I will see you in the next one.